good looking fella, you gotta admit it. Yeah? I think that curry's affected your eyes as well. Come on. Of course, I know you didn't go for looks with me, or personality. Do you mind? That's my husband you're talking about. Well, there's something about handsome man just gets the old juices flowing. Bloody hell, Mother, do you have to? No, you don't. <laughs> Everything all right? Oh, yes, I was uh, just powdering my nose. Uh, uh, uh. You look a million dollars. Well, you don't look so bad yourself. Jesus, if we get any more juices flowing, we'll have to swim to the hotel. Do what? Never mind. I'm going to miss you so much, Mateo. Hey, come on. No tears. <laughs> You're going to miss your plane. <laughs> call me tonight. My sweet. I will call you every night. Come on. We're going to be late. Do you love me? Hey, come on. Lisa, I think deep down you know the answer to that question. <laughs> I love you too. over day to day and I want this bar spotless. Hola. Mom, I'm tired. Me neither. Can you give me a biggie bar? Yes, sir. Oh, language lady. Hang on a minute. Is this it? What do you mean, is this it? Well, is this the pool of these are some men? That big round wet thing's the pool, and then blue and white things are the sunbed. Sorry if it's confusing. You know what I mean? Is this the only pool? Are these the only sunbeds? Yeah. Is there a point to any of this? None of this is right. Mum, I have to change Coolio. I can't breathe. Can we do this later, Mel? Says in the brochure there's a diving board and a breakfast area. Mum, can I get in the pool? Not yet, darling. Mum! We're going to have to get in these rooms. Yeah, well, tell Judith's bloody charmers that. Mel, we'll see you up there. Thank you, love. No, 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 hang on a minute. Where's the diving board? If we paid for a diving board, we should have one. He don't speak any English. How do you know he don't speak any English? Because if he did, he'd have answered you by now. Now, come on! Come on, mate. Can we get move. moving? By God, that's a rough lot I've ever have seen one. The state of him. This place is going right down market. Get in the room and then we're trying to do what you think we're trying to do. You've got that in the brochure, didn't you? Pick that up. Who oh, is that family that were here last year? Okay. Yeah, don't you remember? Then they got landed a number two in the pool. Hiya, you all right? Oh. Looks like you couldn't wait to get in the pool this time. Leave your cases here. I will have them sent down. Room 203. 203, brilliant. Matches gracias. Then other. It's a little rustic, but it has a certain charm, don't you think? It's wonderful. So I take it I'm forgiven for making you punch me in the face at Gatwick. I didn't punch you, Martin. Don't exaggerate. When you said we were flying to Alicante, I just had a bit of a panic attack, that's all. But here we are, well away from the horrors of Benidorm, but practically the same price. What can I say? You're a genius. <laughs> Martin! Katie! What a lovely surprise! Hola. You lot didn't mind me and Madge taking the two-bed apartment, did you? No, we've always dreamed of living in a one-bedroom flat. Yeah, all five of us. Just so naturally I want to be with Madge, but I can't expect her to share a bed with me. Oh. Not till I've taken her up the aisle. Apparently it only hurts the first time. <laughs> all right, thank you. Do you know I've got five sunbed shops? Really? In... You should have mentioned it. But to be honest, nothing compares to the real thing. Right. I think I'll have a dip. Yeah. I might join you in a minute. Jesus Christ. Oh, what is he wearing? Are they supposed to go right up his cracker? Is he just chewing cloth? Oh! oh! 
Oh my God, I am not sitting next to him when he gets back. Oh, oh. oh my guts are doing somersaults. Hey, so am I now, thanks to your fella. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Hiya, Mel, how are you feeling? Look at me alive. Yeah. But I'd rather not talk about it, it's all the same to you. We had a terrible night. Mel drank me a bath and I started having flashbacks. I think it was the sound of the water. But to be honest, I'd rather not talk about it. Probably best if you don't. You're on the old karaoke tonight, Mel? It's terrible when your whole life flashes in front of you like that. I couldn't even see it properly because I didn't have my glasses on. Still, I'd rather just forget about it. It's all the same to you. Yeah, we could deal with that, no problem. Can I get you a drink, Mel? And still feel the chlorine in the water ravaging my eyes. Oh, for f sake! What's wrong with him? Ma'am, on that scooter, we can find you another sunbed. I'm all right on here, thank you. Got everything I need here. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mel. I'll survive. Might be nice for Mel to use the wheelchair for a couple of days while he's not feeling too good. Thicker dum dum, a great balls of fire. You what? Karaoke for tonight. Here we are, fill your boots. I might have a crack at Wuthering Heights. Yeah? I'll look forward to that. Hey, you and Tell should do a duet. What about uh, Ebony and Ivory? <laughs> Why don't we have a nice night in together? You should be taking it easy. Well, we're karaoke on the go, no danger. Here we are, Madge. This round's on me. <laughs> I think you'll find the drinks are on Mel. It's all inclusive. A little change from 900 quid for this holiday. I'm not going to have much thanks for it. Uh, what's that you're talking about? Me saving your life yesterday? Oh, no, don't mention it. Cheers, Mel. Oh, you won't get any thanks out of that one. I just said thank you. I've never understood that selfish, ungrateful streak in my kids. I said thank you. When she was a child, she used to eat her sweets on the toilet so she didn't have to share them with anyone. Now, do you actually believe this stuff yourself, Mother, or do you just enjoy making it up as you go along? Hiya. What do you want? Just want to see if you were all right after yesterday. I'm fine, no thanks to you. Beg your pardon? You weren't me. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't have banged my head on the bottom of the pool. Well, how'd you work that out? <laughs> You've done enough damage. Why can't you leave the man in peace? Leave him in peace? As idiots like you get people killed. Are you called an idiot, you dickhead? All right, ladies, that's enough. Dickhead? Dickhead? You can't talk to me like that. My father fell at Normandy. I don't care if you went ass over tits in Scunthorpe, you're a dickhead. Can we just all calm down? Sing yourself lucky, you should be up for attempted murder. F off. Right, that's it. Mel, what f you? Come here. Come on. Sit here, Mel. Mel, what are you doing? Sit here, Sit down. Come on, go on. Come on, go on. Come on, go on. Come on, Break it up! Break it up now! Joe, fat boys, you caused problems here before. I remember. Up! Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, keep away from me, do you? Keep away! On your bike. And that goes for two sheer turtle, wheelchair and all. Go. Go with your mummy. I'm going. Ah. Dickheads. Who the frig's Touche Turtle? Oh, my God. Everyone all right for drinks? Walk an orange, Matt? Uh, no. No, I'm fine, thank you. Back in a minute. Jesus, looks like we're getting cabaret after all. Crack it, Jay's on. We've got Mel singing Lonely Girl. Let's sing it for him. Yeah! 
Thank you very much. I'd like to dedicate this to a very special lady who over the last few weeks has made me feel like a very special man. Too tight. You don't think he put yours on by mistake, do you, Matt? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to apologise for my son having a go at your husband today. Oh, he's not my husband. He's... he's just a friend. Well, an acquaintance, really. Hardly know him. All oh, right. I just didn't want it to spoil your holiday. No, don't be daft. It was just a misunderstanding. Well, it can get a bit out of control. When he was luckily had one of them leather crash helmets, you know, to stop him nutting the wall. But it don't fit him anymore. Well, they grow so fast, don't they? Baby. How'd you say? Mm, spunk. Look, I know it's not going to be easy, but the past must remain in the past. I'm flattered that you still hold a torch for me, but I'm a married woman. What happened between us last year was a moment of madness. Nothing more. Last year? Yes, last year. We have met before. You mean you don't even remember? I am a busy man. My God, you're an animal. So, do you want to eat some Spanish sausage or not? Ah! Now I remembered you. Keep going, son. Keep going. Sorry, I didn't hurt your hand there, did I? No, oh. really, I'm fine. Sorry. Come on, out the way. Right, you're in the final. Oh, Martin, you've beaten four people. I know. You're in the final. Surprised you noticed. OK, second semi-final, the Oracle. That'll be me versus Potato. Mateo. Yeah, whatever. Me and you, semi-final. Bring it on. Let's do this properly, huh? Follow me. 
Fat boy. Keep going. Just push harder than him. I know how to do it. Sorry, son. I'm just trying to be helpful. You're not helping. Hey, hey, excuse me, love. No oh, players off the green, please. Get out of here. Come on, lad. Spaniard will never win his techniques all wrong. If you're such an expert, how come you got knocked out? I did better than you. Knocked out in the first round be a bloody woman. Yes, we're sorry about that, but my Jacqueline's always had strong wrists, haven't you, darling? Oh, yeah. What did your mummy do, big fat baby? I'm not a baby! I'm a dragon! Don't be an idiot, you're the loser, deal with it. Next. Hey, mate, you're in the final. Who'd you tip one? Well, there's no doubt in my mind who I'm in the final with. Shall we? Well, thanks a bunch, pal. Nice to see us Brits sticking together. Hey, wait a minute, this is not fair. He's at the rest. I need 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Want to wrestle? Forget it. I'm okay to go again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I fight. Go on, lad. After you. Oh, you're bad. We're going to send out a search party. Excuse me, lady, coming through. Hey, darling. Front row seat. Thanks, Mel. Right! This is the grand final of the Benidorm Arm Wrestling Competition 2007. England? Versus Spain. Who are you? Henry Cooper once said... Get on with it! All right, all right. Lock hands. Ooh, That's not oh, nice. Oh, hey. That's not nice. Take the strain. Um, wrestle! Yes, it is the only way you are going to win. Why don't you take the disqualification, Martin? <laughs> Not on your Nelly. Oh. All right, come on. Come on, Martin. Let's get over it. Come on. Looks like it's unbearable. Lock hands. I hope it lasts. Well then, take the string and wrestle! The 
the winner get to sleep with your wife. Doing out there? Sending bloody smoke signals. What do you think she's doing? She's got the runs. Do you think Marge will be long? This is the second time we've stopped. We know it's the second time we've stopped. We can count. She needs a couple of donuts to bind her. That usually works for me. Oh, brilliant. Well, we'll tell the driver to pull it to the next fun fair we pass. Down, we're late. You all right, ma'am? Yeah. I think that was the last of it. Oh. Come on, man. Take no notice. Oh, I do feel rough. Don't you worry, my princess. You look a million dollars. Oh. Not him. He'll end up selling the bull of bloody juicer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I like the costume. It's dead sexy, isn't it? You'll have to get Donald one of them. Oh, we've already got a French maid's outfit. Yeah, I bet you look great in that. Oh, it's not mine. <laughs> Son, get up here. Make sure you can see. Hey. Is there going to be loads of blood, Dad? I don't know. <laughs> Doro. <laughs> I'm not looking. Doro. <laughs> Vamos, Doro. <laughs> Vamos. <laughs> Got to be joking. <laughs> um, it's okay. You can look. <laughs> Not quite the bloodbath we were anticipating. <laughs> Bite it, bite his leg. <laughs> hey! What sort of bullfight is this meant to be? It's a free trip. What are you going to do? Ask for your money back? Oh, my God! I 
We didn't think they were married yet. Jesus Christ! My tato! Get in here! Oh, oh, don't you stand there! Do something! What do you want me to do? Not with your thumb. You have to use your fingers. Here. Excuse me. Uh, here we are. No need to panic. The Sugar Plum Fairy's here. There's no pulse. <gasps> What's going on? Have a miserable fight. Madge, would you mind if I put my arm around you? No, of course not. You're a very handsome woman, you do know that, don't you? Well, I've managed to keep my figure, I suppose. You've done more than that. Yeah, that's it. What the bloody hell? Who's there? Come on, get on with it. I've only got a bit of tape left. What the hell do you think you're playing at? What am I playing at? What about you? You're the ones on Doggers Beach. Doggers what? People having sex in public. Well, don't tell me you didn't know. <sighs> Madge! Mel! What a lovely surprise seeing you here. Jesus Christ, I might have known you'd be here. Hello. Oh, we've not missed any action, have we? No, I think the one in the wheelchair is a bit shy. Oh, you did know this was a dogging beach, didn't you? We don't even know what dogging is. Well, it's happening all around you. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, what am I looking at? I can't see anything. Well, thank God for that. Your stomach's a bit dicky at the best of times. Come on, Princess. Bloody pervert. I can hear a squelching noise. Come on, we're off. Animals, a lot of you. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Up for a threesome? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly beloved. Jesus, the vicar's got more makeup on than me. Here on this wonderful sunny afternoon, I'm between shows. To witness the marriage of Mel and Madge. It is at this time that I would like to say a few words on behalf of. Shall Mel we sit and Madge. together? I'm on my own as well. Oh, yes. Okay. Anytime during this gay musical that we call Life. I heard your wife left you. To the final I am sorry. Well, she didn't exactly leave me. She just needed some space. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose... Hello. Many happy standing ovations. Mel and Madge have been lucky enough to find each other during life's closing number. Jesus, he's pushed the boat out here. This must have cost him a fortune. <laughs> Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> If any one person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, then he or she should declare it now. Janice! Hey, who's that? It's your last chance. I've got, I've got my car with me. We can go anywhere you want. Did someone order a taxi? Jesus Christ. It's that lad from last night. If you won't come with me, just... Give me one more kiss. I can't stop thinking about you. Get rid of him. Okay. Janice! Janice! One more? I don't think he's all there. Ah. I think he might have learning difficulties. He'll have fucking walking difficulties Go if on. he comes anywhere near me. Janice! 
Uh, shall we continue? Yes, let's. Do you, Madge Delilah Barron, take Melvin Churchill Harvey as your lawful wedding What was husband? all that about? To have I don't know. To hold what did he mean, what another kiss? I honestly have no idea. Or in health, to love and to cherish, till death do you part. I do. Do you, Melvin Churchill Harvey... Kate, I know I've handled this situation badly, but people make mistakes. Martin, I've been to see someone this morning. A lawyer? A doctor. Oh, my God, I knew there was something wrong. I'm pregnant. But when did we... The night of the arm wrestling match. But we were told I couldn't give you a baby. People make mistakes. <laughs> to love and to cherish, till death do you part. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. To love and to cherish, till death do us part. Lucky, wasn't it? Get out of the way, you idiot. Mel, Mel, can you hear me? Oh, my God, that's it. I've lost him. That big fat lump tried to kill him the last time. He's done it now. Oh, what am I going to do? His feet are moving. They are. His feet are moving. He's not dead. Come on, Dad, you can make it. Don't go towards the light. Whatever you do, don't go towards the light. Come on, Mel, you can do it. Oh. He's alive! Yes. 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 Right, come on, someone get the vicar. Let's get this wrapped up. What do you think you're doing? He needs to go to hospital. Look, I really think he should go to hospital. This man has waited all his life oh. to meet the woman of his dreams. Get that vicar here now! <laughs> Read fast. Do you, uh, Melvin Churchill Harvey, who are you? That's the vicar, Mel. You've had a bump on the head. Who are you? Oh, shit. Mel, Mel, don't panic. It'll all come back to you. You remember Madge, don't you? <gasps> What's happening? Where am I? This isn't Lytham St. Thousand. He's lost his memory from the bash in the head. I've seen this happen before. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. a, a friend of ours, Gay Derek, once got concussed by the buckle of a leather harness. That's right. Didn't know his own name for over a month. And then in a freak accident during an advanced step class, he managed to kick himself in his own head. Memory came back just like that. Mel, come and sit down for a minute. Oh, oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Dad! Oh. Jesus Christ! What do you think you're playing at? I was trying to get his memory back. 